What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. Today we're talking about the newest release from the house of Rosa Parfums. Just so you guys know in full disclosure, this fragrance we're talking about today was sent to me for review, but I try to keep things impartial here. So if you don't believe me, obviously you can click away, but I'm gonna tell you what I honestly think about this new fragrance. Now this fragrance is called Elixir, as you can see. Really gorgeous presentation, nice gold accents here. Now, if you didn't know, this is basically a counterpart to a fragrance that came out, I believe in 2017, if I'm not mistaken, and this was Elysium. I really enjoy this fragrance and I've gotten a lot of wearing out of it. It's one of the most versatile fragrances I own and if you checked out my top fragrances worn for 2018, this one made it pretty high up because I've worn it a lot. So really quick, let's just compare these presentations here. If you didn't know, this is presentation for the Elysium, which is for men, at least marketed to men. And I did review this fragrance. If you want to check that out, you can click there. There's the card, but the bottle slides out. It sits in this little velvet kind of bed here. Beautiful, beautiful bottle here. Love this. Very great detailing, heavy cap. Check out the review if you don't know about this fragrance. And Elixir opens up very much the same way. Here it is, again, slides up from the bottom. But Roja gave the women's fragrance a nice, soft, pillowy bed to sit in. That's just beautiful. And there's the bottle, sits in there like that. Let's go ahead and remove this. Here's the bottle for Elixir. You can see it's similar to Elysium. However, it's been slimmed up a bit, perhaps maybe to look more feminine, if you will. But they do share similar aesthetics. Obviously you see it has white engraving instead of dark blue on the top here. Similar symbol, if not basically the same. No, they're, they're different. They are different, which is nice. That's a nice touch, these little triangular symbols here. Uh, but for the most part, you can definitely tell that it's being taken after Elysium. Now, really briefly, ooh, wow. Let's talk about Elixir. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Again, marketed for women, and in my opinion, in the wearings that I've made out of it, this works better on a lady than it does on someone like me. I've tried to find ways, like how could I pull this off? Maybe I could wear it in a suit or something like that. Maybe I could pull it off on a night out in a suit, but I just don't know. What you're gonna get out of this in typical Roja fashion when it comes to his fresh scents, at least to my nose, it opens up kind of what I would call densely hollow. It's, you can smell it, it's in the air, but when you go to smell it up close, it almost like eludes your nose. It, it kind of dissipates and you can't really smell it too intensely. You smell it better from the air than you do up close. At least to me, that's my experience. Opens up with bergamot, so fresh right off the top. Nice and citrusy, but immediately backed by some fruity notes. And in terms of the fruity notes, I mostly get a lot of peach with a touch of raspberry. And peach is probably my favorite fruity note in fragrances, so immediate love for me. In addition to that zesty peach you get, it's a little bit uh, powdery, actually quite powdery, but also still fresh up top. And you do get the florals that are also in the heart. There's quite a bit of rose. As it starts to dry down, you lose that powdery floral touch, at least from the rose, which also speaks from the heart quite a bit. And you lose, again, the bergamot. And the Lang Lang starts to come out a little bit more. So it keeps it sweet. This fragrance is pretty much sweet all the way down. And as it continues to dry, as we lose the florals, it gets a little bit more oriental and woody. Uh, there's definitely some vanilla in the base and there's multiple types of woods you have sandalwood you have cashmere wood and also cedar wood now the woods do not ever scream and it does not become a woody fragrance but they are always in the backbone and they just keep things grounded as it dries so what do i have to say about how this scent makes me feel this is a statement maker for i think a woman who wants to pull this off it's very light and sweet and floral and playful, but also uh, there's a boldness to it, there's an assertiveness to it, and I think it's very professional. It's commanding, but pleasant, but professional, if you know what I mean. There's all these 
dualities coming together. Really a gorgeous scent. Now this is an eau de parfum. It does behave like one. Uh, but it's a little bit weird, at least off of my skin. This stuff will last a good 8 to 10 hours on the skin. But after 4 hours, it got super light. Now, either I was going anosmic to the scent, and I had to get really up close to smell it. I even put some on my shirt on both sides, one wearing, and just to see how it would actually wear, rather than just on the hand. And I swear, after just a few hours, I couldn't detect it at all. Unless, I would get tiny little whiffs here and there. It was just very hard to detect and it happened multiple times. I would spray it on, it would be pretty present and powerful for the first few hours and then it would almost disappear but it would be a skin scent for the next like six hours. So I'm curious to see what other people have to say about the performance. I have not watched any other reviews just so I didn't you know taint my own perspective of the fragrance. But what I'll say is overall the fragrance smells the way it looks. You know sometimes it's it's unfortunate that the visual aspect of a fragrance can affect the way it smells. I'd be interested to see how it would smell if I had never seen the bottle, if someone just gave it to me blind, but it does affect the way it smells, and I think it is aptly packaged to reflect the way it smells. It's, it's a really gorgeous scent. I find it super alluring, super interesting. There's a lot going on here, again, as with most of Roja's fragrances, and I would recommend this to the young professional woman or even an older woman. This could be worn by the range of all of them. It has a little bit of both worlds in there, in my opinion. Now, it is very expensive, as you might imagine, again, in typical Roja fashion. I don't remember looking at the price recently, but I thought I remember seeing somewhere that this 100 milliliter bottle retails for about $295. If that is incorrect, I'll leave the correct price here, but I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. So that's a hefty price tag. As I normally say about fragrances in this price range, do you need to spend this much money to smell this good? No, you don't. But if you love the scent and you have the money to spend, then go for it. Why not? This fragrance, I believe, also comes in a 7 or 7.5 seven milliliter travel atomizer, which costs significantly less, so you have a chance to try it in a smaller quantity for a little bit less money. This is for the ladies out there who are looking for a very lady fragrance i mean this is a woman <laughs> who wears this but men you could probably pull this off too if you want if you're comfortable with fragrances like this fruity floral a little powdery and fresh but has some depth to it with some interesting woods and oriental notes a very nice release in my opinion from the house and i would recommend getting your nose on it if you're into fragrances like this so that's all we're going to say about Roger parfums elixir your perfumes, thank you so much for sending this out to me. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next one.